Oh my god, I just fixed the Moto G Fast. Actually, the phone was shutting down randomly. I spent hours and hours and days trying to figure out what is wrong with this phone. A friend of mine gave me this phone and she said, hey, I got this phone and it's protected by PIN number. Can you please take the tem PIN number? I, I want to use it. I said, okay, no problem. All what you can do is just like factory reset, right? This is what we do. So uh, I went home, I took it home with me and I did the factory reset and all is good. I mean, um, I could log into the phone and personalize it and skip the pen. So I'm, I was prepared to give it back to my friend. And all of a sudden it was just shutting down all the time. And even I had this Android missed errors and mistakes like the, the error messages telling me that there is uh, no bootable slot, blah, blah, blah. So I went on, on the internet and I tried to figure out what, what is happening. It was like this for hours and days. I couldn't figure out what is wrong. So I thought it was the battery and it was just like this close to order a new battery. I went to Motorola uh, website and I installed their um, assistant tool and I did the rescue process three times or four times, I think. And it was the same. Each time was the same problem, like shutting down. Let me just show you what was happening. If your phone, Motorola G, fast, was shutting down as soon as you power it on, you see the logo, like just for a fraction of a second, it will shut down. Then you have to continue watching this. So now there must be like several reasons and causes and uh, solutions to this kind of problem. I have tried everything. I opened the, the phone, the back of the phone, and I unplugged everything and replugged it again. It was like doing nothing for me and the battery was like it was draining fast although it was like 96 97 percent but it was like draining so fast that was letting me uh, feeling that the battery was bad but my friend when she gave me the phone the battery was fine i mean was nothing wrong beside the the passcode First of all, try to rescue the, your phone through the uh, tool that is provided in the Motorola website. And if that doesn't work, uh, then go ahead and do what I will show you. Since I'm uh, filming with one hand, I need you just to follow along. Uh, I will have things uh, redone because I only have one hand here. So you open the back, okay, and from right to left, and you'll have here screws one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten screws to take out. So once you got these ten screws out, you take a tool like this and you try to pop out this cover. So go gently, go every in every side. So you make sure you don't break it. So you will be left with this cover like this. There's nothing attached to it, no cable, so don't don't be scared. And what I have done, I unplugged this, like that. And I powered on my phone. And it went so fast, straight to the uh, OS, and I didn't experience the shit down anymore. Like, never. This is all what I had to do, guys. I just unplugged this cable. I don't even know what it is. But I made sure before I um put everything together back again i did that i powered it on let me just show you here we go all good everything is working just fine I don't know. I think I can just leave the phone without that cable. So my friend would never experience this problem again, ever. 
this is this is all what you have to do just do it do it try it um, and if it doesn't work like unplug all the cables and leave it like this for a, a few a few hours probably and plug it but well play with these plugs so this is the end of this video just um, keep in mind that you have to do your own research so after the after I filmed that video and I was about to uh, conclude everything what happened is I had the same problem again so um, I think I, I don't know I'm not I'm not an electrician so if you are uh, an electrician and you're watching this just uh, you know correct me if I'm wrong but there is some like something like a, a shortcut behavior so what I have done uh, after I filmed that and all things are, are fixed I put back the cover and I screwed everything but I screwed it like a little bit hard this time like I screwed it uh, very tight and I had the same problem so what I did I went back and I opened the back of the phone I um, unscrewed everything and the problem like disappeared so I said probably there's like a can of shortcut or something like a shortage or you know some something with the circuit the electricity in the, in the phone so what I did here I just uh, put back the cover there's like a, some anchors they will just stay in place and um, I lift the the cover without the screws see so it's it's tight enough but it's not like pressing on something on a cable or when um, a, a chip or something that maybe causes the problem so, um, I don't know exactly what is happening so I decided just to uh, leave this cover without any screws and um, I will just uh, make sure the back is not opened like I will apply a heat I will apply a heat on this uh, on the back so um, and it will just stay always with a cover anyway so it won't go anywhere um, and that seems good for me because whenever I tighten these screws I have the problem and whenever I leave the the cover without the screws and or the screws not tight enough uh, I won't have the problem so I will leave this uh, like as is for a few days and see the battery is like partially full it's like 80 something and um, it's still working fine so uh, try the hack that I have showed you earlier and try to uh, leave the cover in place without the screws and uh, just comment below if this works for you a few hours later and I still have the phone on it, I can turn the display off and on easily and it will never ever shut down again so I can browse watch uh, YouTube do whatever I want and the problem is just gone this is definitely the solution that worked for me I hope it work it will work for you I consider subscribing although I don't have a lot of videos about this uh, kind of problems but uh, I'll be happy to see more subscribers. Thank you so much. Bye.